El Chapo, did you follow that? Who? The Mexican drug lord that they just caught. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> back up. Am I changing it too fast? Hmm, no, no. I said let's back up. Okay. A little pissy ass drug addict punk. The, the movie guy here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sean Penn. Found him when the CIA in the Mexican town couldn't find him? And you buy that tip? Huh? Mm. Are you crazy? Let me say this again. Mm -hmm. They didn't know. He's recognized all over the world. They didn't see him coming in the country. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Killed everybody that was around him except him. Hmm? Mm. See, some of the shit you should not ask or don't expect me to give you a question or answer out of it. Okay. It's right there. Mm -hmm. hmm? Right there. But you got to answer another question. Then thousands of, here's the question you ask. Mm -hmm. All the drugs come over here from Mexico. That's what they tell us, right? Yeah. Then how come the Russians can't keep, slip spies over here? If little children can slip in here, how come they, they can't slip KGB in here over the border? Mm -hmm. That's, what was the game? Mm -hmm. The game. Speaking of drugs, I mean, more states are legalizing marijuana. Um, you know, what, what are the health benefits of marijuana? Hmm? Are there health benefits to marijuana? Why, why is it being legalized now? <laughs> I really don't believe you asked me that. But well, that was a question that was on that somebody asked me to ask you. But about three hundred years ago. America sent the scientists to Columbia to study hieroglyphics. They hadn't cracked the code, but they knew one day they would. So in studying hieroglyphics, they asked a simple question. Simple question of <clears throat> so they, they copied stuff, mm -hmm. took pictures of stuff on the caves, mm -hmm. drew stuff. So 150 years later, they cracked it. And here's what it said, white man, one day the white lady gonna do to your children what you have done to ours, and back then cocaine wasn't called the white lady. Hmm. The reason I said I'm surprised you asked me that. Every minute we've been together since you picked me up, 81% of everybody who OD'd in America is white folks. That's why I'm surprised, hmm. white folks. The number one drugged out state in America as of two months ago is Utah. Hmm? The people in Utah, now the, the first responders say we could save a lot of them, but the folks, because of their religion, they want to clean up the house before they let us in. The second highest state is uh, Sanders State. Ain't no black folks live there. No, the biggest thing they don't understand, and they'll hear it after they hear this, is 91% of those white folks that die. Hmm? I mean, how could you not know that? Then if these cops was killing dogs like they're killing black folk, the cops would have been in the lecture chair. Hmm? Okay? And so the people who run it know the problems they got it was white folks. Black folks ain't gonna do nothing. They come in here now and say, "Oh, you niggas, get out of here! I'll kill you. I'll probably be the only one to die. I know y'all will stay. Y'all gonna stay, but I ain't dying that bullshit because I know you." Hmm? That's what this is about, man. Right. So now watch this. <clears throat> when you go to bed tonight, your heart, your brain tells your heart to keep beating while he sleep. Keep eating while he sleep. Hmm? 
the new heroin they're giving these white children shut that part of the brain down. That's why 91% of the death happens after midnight. Hmm? That's what this is about. Hmm? Yeah. No, I just saw a few weeks ago they said that the life expectancy of white women has gone down as a result of suicide mm -hmm. and drug death. And I thought I covered that a little while ago when I said, that's the civil rights movement. We opened up the doors so we could get the jobs that they never had. Mm -hmm. And so that's what it's affecting them. The stress. And it's more than stress, man. Shit. As a man, before they could get those jobs, man, we could get in the car, man, and go fuck bitches and then go home. They can do that now. They never had the opportunity. It wasn't that they didn't want to. They never had the opportunity. Hmm? They, they drink wine at home. Hmm? They go to the bar now. Anytime you go to a white hotel and see a white woman checking in, with a, that's a man's job she got. Huh? And all the rest of it go along with it. Hmm? You could also look and see drunken driving then increase because usually when they're drinking wine, they're at home. Mm -hmm. They're on the street now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, your birthday, the day you was born, not, not the year, the month, just the day you was born. The 20th. The 20th, okay. So you celebrate your birthday on the 19th, the day before. Okay. Christmas Eve party. It's the birthday of Jesus Christ. New Year's Eve, birthday of the new year. Mm -hmm. So in cities like this here, and where you live, on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve, you can call the police and they got to take you home for free or they can go to jail. Mm -hmm. But they don't have to do that on Christmas Day or New Year's Day. <laughs> and I remember when I was a little boy, you see the old black folks cooking the Christmas meal. Mm -hmm. But it'd be Christmas Eve, maybe eating, eating, Come on here, salad, let me fix you this salad. Hmm? You do the right things for different reasons when you're in order. Mm -hmm. hmm? When I was a little boy, black folks used to drink eggnog, and it would be brown. Go to white folks, eggnog would be white. Why? Nutmeg is three times, thousand times more potent as a drug in cocaine, heroin, and crack. Hmm? Nothing the Christian like to feel good and don't have to be accused of drinking. Hmm? Hmm? That's simple. Well, so the, well, that's that's for us to go, oh, Tarzan's cool. <laughs> Sam said it. Sam's going to cuss the lion out. <laughs> Who the fuck are these goddamn lions? <laughs> Man, you better get these mustache lions around these motherfuckers. Goddamn lies in my goddamn tar. Man, fuck Tarzan. <laughs> that's what Sam does. You know, Sam gonna cuss Tarzan out. Tarzan, where the fuck you been all day? <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's for us. That's one of the films that really scared the, um, I feel, the powers that exist in this country. They didn't want to see films like that come out. That's what I was talking about. Um, when we talk about technology, these are the kind of films they're afraid of and they want to make sure that we don't have this subversive element in motion pictures developed with um, black folk. 